World tonight, C.J. Kelly uh, joins us. That was an odd game uh, tonight, wasn't it at times? Yeah, it was really um <laughs> weird. <laughs> they been part of a 21 nothing start? Yeah, we started off 21-zip, and then out of nowhere, these guys went on a run. That was a dogfight from there on out. Yeah, at the start, what did we do well to build that lead, you think? Mm, well, what we did was um we did what we do best, and that's play defense. Um, that, that, was, that was it. I mean... We, we couldn't miss in the beginning either. We executed our offense very well. But the defensive end, that was what... The thing is, you said, that's where it starts. You play good defense, it leads to either the run out or easier opportunities on offense. And I thought when they got back within four, then we got back to that, and defense led to offense there, didn't it? Yes. Everything starts and ends with defense. I mean, and rebounding. Um, Coach put a lot of emphasis on that, and I'm looking at it right now. Um, How many did you get? How many did you get? You got nine. Okay, I got nine. Oh, you got Nine. I let the team in rebounds? Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to joke with my bigs about that one. <laughs> Start of the second half, though, you hit some big threes. What began to work offensively for you in the second half? Um, the guys told me to be aggressive and start playing mad, and um, that's really what happened. Um, there was a few hecklers in the, in the sidelines as well. So, um, And then my teammates found me. I mean, they, they was in a 1-3-1, one, one, and it kind of had a stagnant, so it allowed me to you know, be open in some gaps. You know, so I just – from what did they time. do well that we made some mistakes, and then what adjustments did we make against that one three one? Um, they did a good job mixing up their defenses. Um, you know that the one three one really kind of caught us off guard. They mm-hmm. did a good job from going one three one two man, and Coach Dawkins, being the mastermind he is, he just started. You know, he dissected it and told us what to do, and it worked. Some other guys stepped up. Uh, you know, Taylor was a little bit quiet. Then hit some shots. The big three in the corner was huge for us right there. What what impresses you about him as a rookie in a night like this where you had to fight through some adversity uh, that, that that he did well? Taylor Hendricks is a great player. Um, whatever he does on the basketball court doesn't surprise me at this point anymore. But um, he works every day. He's a hard worker. Um, he gets challenged a lot in practice. You know, it's, nothing's ever easy for him. So when moments like this come, you know, it, he did have a slow start, but – He's such a great player. You know, he never um, went out and tried to force anything. I don't know if the stat sheet does this guy justice tonight. Michael Durgo is for eight and six. In a game that is now all about shooting threes, the big fella, though, had some low post moves. That left-handed hook, that's NBA stuff right there. Wasn't that a heck of a play? It's phenomenal. You know, we do a thing <laughs> called beast drill every day, and um, this is for only the bigs, and they just the bigs just go at it one by one. And his left-hand hook is I've never, for a righty, I've never seen someone with a left hand like that before, like, he just gets to it, and I'm like, there's no way he's making that. And then he makes it, and it's just like, wow, should I even be surprised anymore? What do you take out of a game like this? We had the big lead. They cut it to four, and then we get it back up to 15, win by 11. What's the lesson for the team to learn about uh, uh, things that happen in this game? Um, well, I think we should know that the game is full of runs, and teams are never going to just die out. I don't know. Um, so I think the lesson we should learn is, you know, we should take, you know, how we started that the first – what, eight minutes, ten minutes of the game? They didn't score for nine minutes, yeah. Okay, take that first nine minutes of the game <laughs> and, like, just study that and then take the other whatever half and just look at that and be like, this is what's not to do. And we have to just stay focused and locked in. You know, for a team to come back from 21 zip in the first half is you know, phenomenal. And kudos to them because they are a great team. But, you know, for us and for what we want to accomplish, you know, we have to tighten up on that. Last thing I want to uh, ask you, really important, before the game, a lot of options of gum and candy. What was the go-to for you? Because I saw you take a look at the spread there. You had a couple <laughs> of different choices. What'd you go with? What are you chewing I right now? I went with the Um It was yeah. a sour one. I, I right. was, you know, our gym usually has, like, you know, limited ones, yeah. you know, just the mints. These had different flavors, and yeah. I saw a juicy fruit over there, and I right. usually go with that, you know, but yeah. I went with the bubble. What are you chewing now? Is it bubble right now? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I saw you. I mean, you look and go a lot of options, mm-hmm. and I like that and mm-hmm. so forth. Great nice. game tonight. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, sir. Oh, you know, uh, you came on the road to, to an SEC team, and, and, and you got the victory. So just from that standpoint, you got to be happy tonight, obviously, with the result. No, I was. I mean, anytime you go on the road, playing a, a team of this caliber, they're having a great preseason, uh, you know, it's going to be tough. You know, you don't expect to, you know, go out here and, and – blow teams out on the road, uh, especially this caliber of team. So uh, we wanted to continue to play. We knew they would make runs. We would make runs. Uh, and we kept our composure, which is what we talked about before the game, being composed in this type of atmosphere. When they make runs, let's not get lost in those runs. Let's make sure we fight out of them. And I thought our guys did. You did a lot well in the first nine minutes. What did you do to get a 21 nothing lead? Hey, I thought we defended very well. I think early in the game, I thought our guys really followed the game plan early. Uh, doing the things we wanted to do. I thought we disrupted them some 
and uh, that got us some momentum. And uh, we were able to ride the momentum, as you said, to a 21-point lead. But we really concentrated on defense and rebounding. I thought we did a great job of not giving them second and third shot attempts like we did later in the game. Uh, and that kind of helped us, you know, get out to that run as well. We've talked about the challenge of when you get an early big lead like that. So they began to do some things. What did you guys get away from that they cut it to 10 at the half? Well, I, th- I thought I thought we lost our composure a little bit during that stretch. I thought we were composed most of the night, but during that stretch we lost it. We, we turned it over, and they're very good at feeding off your turnovers. If you turn the ball over, they turn it into points right away. I thought that was one of the things they did. I thought our offense got a little stagnant during that time. Uh, we were searching, you know, searching for what we wanted to find offensively, and uh, we just couldn't get it going. And then to give them credit, when they came down the offensive end, they put a lot of pressure on us offensively, and I could feel their pressure, and they did a lot of you know, good work on the backboard in the second half, and I gave them second and third shot attempts, and uh, they were able to finish them. Their 1-3-1 one, one trap bothered us. You figured some things out. What did we not do well, and then what did you say, start doing this, because then we did some things out of it. Well, we made some adjustments. We, I thought we were attacking it very well in the first half. They ran the first half for the most part, and uh, I thought foul trouble kind of hurt us, so we had some guys out of position and they were playing in places they hadn't played against that zone, and I think that kind of disrupted us. And then after that, you know, I thought in the second half, we made an adjustment and we started playing against it, you know, somewhat better. We started, you know, moving the ball, moving our players in different positions to try to free them up, and I thought they did a good job of that. The scout of this game, your team did really well. Two guys that maybe you didn't anticipate and bottling you and end up going for 20, <laughs> and they, you know, were big offensive rebounds. The key guys, you shut down tonight. <laughs> so even though those guys did some things, it's one of those where the scout uh, did work. But tell me about C.J. Kelly in the second half, how big he was. He had those three threes, fours. What was impressive about C.J.'s second half? Just his poise. I mean, as the game was going on and they were cutting the lead, cutting the lead, every time it seemed like they were about to, you know, gain even more momentum and more points, he would step up and hit a big shot for us. And uh, I mean, talk about timely makes. But he's done that for us this year. He's had a knack for making timely shots for us. And uh, he and Ithiel both. And uh, I thought they did a good job of that. And he especially did a good job tonight. I know you needed him. I thought a little bit Taylor maybe tired tonight. But he had some big moments. He still ends up with 17. He had a big three. Got the pass there, and you're thinking for freshman. He wanted it, and, boy, that was a big-time shot in the corner. No, absolutely, and that's who he is. I mean, he's going to take those shots. He takes them with confidence. Uh, he believes in himself, and we believe in him. You know, He knows he has the freedom to, to search out his best looks, and we're going to live with it. And uh, I thought he did a great job of finding that shot. He was open, and he didn't hesitate. I said to C.J. Kelly, the stat sheet will not give Michael Dirk credit for the game. He had eight points and six. Johnny, you and I are old enough to remember low post guys and moves mattered. It's not something today. That left-handed hook would make Kareem happy earlier. <laughs> that was impressive. You no, know, it really was. And, you know, and he works on that all the time. That's one of his favorite moves is going over that right shoulder, throwing a left hook. And for a right-handed player, that's difficult. But he's, he's mastered that shot, and uh, he did it again tonight. You know, he had a you know, great opportunity to get it off, and, and I was glad to see him knock it down in the game. And, and as you're right, the stats would not show how well he played for us because not only did he score and get six rebounds, but he also, versus their press and everything, he handled the ball a lot for us at the foul line area where we wanted him to receive the ball and make plays, whether it's catching face and drop it down, catching face, hit the little short shot or throw outside to someone open. And he made the right decision pretty much every time he caught it there. Yeah, I think Michael's a patient passer, allowing it, a guy to make yes. the cut. I thought early in the basketball game he did that. A lot of lessons out of tonight. What do you want your team to learn from this game about everything that we just saw that is going to apply to a lot of games left? Well, the thing we learned is that we can win on the road. I mean, first and foremost, this is our first road, tr- true road game, and you, you want to know that you can go out there and be successful. And then you understand what it took to do that, and I think we're going to learn that through watching film and feedback as we go forward, and we'll grow from that regard as well. So going forward, as we go on the road, we'll have an idea of what we need to do to be have some type of success. So I think that's the first thing. And second, when you have a big lead, is how do you maintain that lead and keep that lead? We have to continue to work on building on big leads. That's something else we have to work on. And then lastly, you know, I think we learned a lot toward the end of the game of how to close games when you are in close games, tight down the stretch, how to finish them out. And I thought we did a good job of closing this game out. Congrats, Coach. Good win tonight.